What's going on YouTube? This is going to be a quick video. Um, I don't really have any updates or anything today, but I'm just going to show you guys what my favorite Chrome extensions are for YouTube and just like the YouTube journey. So number one is NextLev, and you can see these pop-ups here that aren't usually on like people's dashboards or people's screens when they go to a channel, but you can come in here and you can see similar channels as well as analytics. You can also see not monetized, so it'll tell you the monetization status of the channel. And there's also this, you can save it and then screenshot profile, but I never really use those. The things I do use though for different things such as niche research and I mean, that's all I use similar similar channels for, but then you can also use analytics to check people's RPMs. You can use it to check the revenue per month, the views per month, stuff like that. So I'll give you an example. So I'll come into the home page and just say, I'll just click a video real quick. I'll just like, what is it? Um, I'll click this video here, go to their channel. And you can see that it's not applicable for monetization. So that, that doesn't mean it's not monetized, but it means that because there's only shorts in this channel, the next level extension can't detect if it's monetized or not. So as it says here, we can't show monetization status on shorts only channels, but what you can do is you can come to analytics. Actually, I should choose a different channel because then if I'm one that it is monetized, I'll look at, I'll find, um, Oh, whatever I'll just do so KSI channel everyone knows massive youtuber definitely monetized come to the analytics we'll check so you can see this is like the dashboard that pops up channel revenue we've got views we've got RPM so views and channel revenue are all in the last 30 days or 28 days I forgot exactly but it also tells you what the top geographies for the viewers are what the age and gender are and then you can see the average views per video 3.1 mil day since the started 5,000 the amount of monthly uploads on average, 8.3, has shorts, yep, total views, and it tells you the categories as well as the average video length and the last upload. I normally use these top top three the most when I'm doing niche research because you can come through here and you can see in the last 28 days, this channel has made 80,000, 76,000 of that is from um, long form views, and then 386 is from shorts, you can see He's gotten 15 million views in the last 28 days and the RPM is $6.60 for long form videos and 10 cents for short form. I'll come down, I'll just show you guys the rest of it. You can see 32% from United States, 27% from UK, etc. Age, you can see 98% male, mostly between the ages of 18 and 44. So that's the um next level, mon or not monetization, but that's the next level um, analytics board. You can also come through here and you can click similar channels and then search and you can filter by shorts or long form. So if you're doing short channel, you can filter to short channels only. Once this loads, it'll give me a list of channels similar to that. All right, so you can see spat out a few channels here. And I mean, some of them, it's pretty hard to find a similar channel to like an actual person. But if you're looking at like a theme, a themed account with like a niche, just say the niche was like, edits or something like that it would spit out channels much like closer to the actual niche but i guess like it sh you can see here what it gives you it gives you average views per videos how long ago it started how many times it uploads and then when the last upload was um you can also filter by when when it started like you can see the most recent channels 439 days you can also um by subs filter by subs low to high same as similarity score and total views so that's pretty much all i guess you can also find videos like this just say look up what should i look up i'll look up um basketball hashtag shorts this is another good thing it comes up with this filter thing here so you can filter by sub count so i'm going to put it to channels with under 100,000 subscribers and then i'm going to put it to over a million views i'm going to click shorts because i'm looking for shorts channels and then i'm going to select a date it's going to be in the last since december 1st till now so I click go and as you can see it'll spit out a few type a few videos that have over a million views on a channel that has under 100,000 subscribers that were posted in the last 2 months. So this is like a really good way to find a niche or just find like competition in your niche that you can have a look at like their outlier videos or stuff like that. Don't know why it's not loading. Normally it's a bit quicker. All right, so there weren't any over a million. So I'll put it to 300,000. You can see this one here. So I could come on here you can see 72,000 subs, 720,000 views in one month. 
So what I could do is I could come through here and have a look at their shorts, filter by popular. And then I could use these as like some inspiration to make videos of myself for myself in the um, basketball niche. But as you can see here, it does say not monetized. Not 100% sure, it's not always accurate, but you can like take it. You could always check on a different website, but just take that with like, don't always believe it. All right, so that's pretty much all of the next lev analytics or just like next lev extension benefits. The thing is that is paid that one. I pay, I think like, I don't actually know how much it is, like 12 or 14 or something euros a month to use that. But I think it's definitely worth it, especially if you're trying to find a niche or just trying to find videos that you can not copy, but like use as inspiration. I think it's definitely worth it just because it's not that much and it sort of filters stuff down for you, saves you a lot of time. So moving on to the vidIQ Chrome extension. So the vidIQ Chrome extension, you can see here, I use this for having a look at videos. You can see how many views per hour they're getting, as well as like their outlier score. So I see this video here, posted four years ago, still getting 150 views per hour. And it's outlier scores more than 100 times, which means this video is done over 100 times better than the average video on this channel. Which, so you can see that NextLev and vidIQ both have the exact same sort of option. or You can see they're spitting out the same things, but they're giving me different numbers so i've noticed that vidIQ's is a lot more accurate and next level is a bit bit more off so that's what i use vidIQ, vidIQ for and then i'll come over here i'll look, go to this guy's channel all right so then this is another thing i use very often is you can click view channel stats so you can see that they've posted one time in the last 30 days they've gotten 30 subscribers and they've gotten 121,000 views and you can see like their daily averages whether or not it's gone up or down in the last 30 days I'll show you a bigger channel so you can see exactly. I will just click this dude's channel. Click view channel stats. You can see you got 195,000 views, posted nine videos, and gained 3,000 subs. You can see it's up 138% compared to the last 28 days, and then this is up 70%. So they're the main two that I use. I mean, I don't even use any others, but I've noticed that like they help me a lot. They save me a lot of time. So I suggest you at least get vidIQ if you don't want to get the next lev extension. I know that you can. I'm pretty sure with the next level extension, you can still, what can you use? You can use the monetization thing. You can do the monetization checker. So I, yeah, I definitely recommend get vidIQ because it's free and you can upgrade if you want, but you don't need to. I just use the free version. And then if you've got some money to invest, you might as well get the next level premium because I mean, I think it personally saves me a lot of time. So if you're just like getting started on your journey and want to save some time, then I definitely recommend it. And you can get both of them from the links in the description and yeah, so hope it helped.